Where's all my drinks? Where'd they go? Oh no, Dad's looking for a drink again. Yeah. He's already drinking nonstop and he can't get enough. It looks terrible. The kitchen's full of empty bottles from his drinking and he can't get enough. I'm sick of listening to his crazy talk. Me too. He spends all his money on that booze and doesn't buy us anything sweet. Hey, you two, why are you sitting around doing nothing? I don't have any drink left. What? It's not our problem. You two go out and buy me some more. How are we gonna buy it? Just go to the store and buy me a drink right now. But we can't, Dad. We're too young and they won't sell us drinks. We're underage to buy these things. Yeah, Mikey's telling the truth. We just won't be able to why buy Why are you so useless? You cannot even go to the store and steal me a drink or trick the saleswoman and tell her that you are adults. Oh no, Daddy's angry now. You make me nervous. For this, you will sit in your room all day today and think about your behavior and better yet, think of the next time to go and buy me a drink instead of these childish excuses. Okay, we get it. We'll stay in our room. Get in your room now. Just leave us alone. Daddy's gotten so nasty. And now you sit here instead of going to get me a drink and think about your behavior and if I hear any noise in your room it's just you're gonna horrible. get it in the neck you're right but don't say anything to piss him off more and you're gonna remember it when he started drinking he got so mean and nasty yeah and now we have to go get him drinks when we can't and sit in his room all day because he's mean I hate him yeah but we're still in our room so we can at least watch TV with cartoons and occupy our time with cartoons it's cool yeah, that's what I mean. At least it's something fun while the evil one is drinking. You're right. I like this cartoon. Yeah, I like him a lot, too. It's very funny and interesting. I'd watch it for a long time. I can watch it all day long. Good thing we have a TV in our room. I told you to be quiet. But we were quiet. What? We were just watching TV. Watching TV? That's what I said. We were just watching cartoons. I told you to sit here and think about your behavior. But we... No buts. What did you do? You can sit here now without watching TV. But why? Because you don't know how to behave and you're always making me angry. Now sit down and think about your behavior. Yeah, yeah. Sit here now. Yeah, of course. God, he's gone crazy with his drinking. I don't know. Our TV is now broken and doesn't show anything. I hate him now, too. What do we do now? We don't even have anything to watch now, Mikey. Don't cry. I can't. It's okay. We still have board games left and tomorrow we can say we're going to school and actually go out and it's okay that he broke our TV. No, that's not okay. I wanted cartoons. We can sit without it. I promise it's gonna be fun. Just calm down and we'll figure out something. The next day. So Mikey came up with a brilliant plan to wait for Dad to fall asleep from his drinking and run outside while he slept. I told you he's nasty. Yeah, you're right. And won't believe us even on a weekday. It's the weekend, so let's quietly walk past him while he's sleeping and go for a walk. Sounds dangerous. I don't think he'll come over if he doesn't hear the noise. But it's better than sitting in your room two days in a row with no TV and no noise. You're right. I told you. He's asleep. Be quiet. We have to be quiet. I just said that right now. But wait. Hmm, look. It seems he's so sound asleep from his drinking yeah. that he wouldn't hear us even if we made noise. Let's go quickly. He might wake up. It's good that he's so drunk that we can leave. You're right. It's so good. It's great. Yes, that's what it is. At least we'll be able to get away and walk around outside. Yeah, we can go out and play something and make friends. It's a nice sunny day. The weather's awesome. It's a nice day. So we'll have fun. Yeah, we can go. If we can find something like a ball or something to play with. I think it's going to be awesome. It'll be really cool. Yeah. I hope he sleeps through the day. Oh, how nice it is outside. Yeah, it's nice here. The weather is wonderful. Yeah, it's nice here. We can walk around and enjoy this wonderful sunshine. I love the sunshine. Yes, we can find a place to play ball. Yeah, it'd be cool to find a ball or something. And maybe there will be a ball somewhere. I hope so. Or just walk around the park. We could even just walk around town. Yeah. That would be cool. We can find something funny like a TV. Well, that would be weird, but maybe or something else. Or bicycles. Whoa, look over there. Wow, I haven't seen her around here before. Me too. It's it's like she doesn't have a home and she lives here all alone. Yeah. She looks beautiful. I think we should meet her. Yeah, I think we should go up to her and meet her. Yeah, you're thinking the same thing. Wow, look, she's holding a sign that says, please give me food. I think she's hungry. Come on, let's go. I think we can approach her and invite her into the house. We have food and we can share it with her so it'll be cool. Hey, you want to meet me? Maybe you meant with us. That's fine with me. Cool. We have food if you want to meet me. Meet us. I've been abandoned by my friends and now I live 
live here. Wow, that sounds rough. I'd like to eat something since I haven't eaten anything in a long time. Your old friends are disgusting for abandoning you. I'm gonna have to live here in this tent now. We can be your new friends. Wow, that's just terrible. And you can come and live with us. I think it's a great idea. And also, yes, we have food and we can share it with you. That would be really cool. I'm really hungry. That would be cool. And she can play with us in our room. Okay, I have to step away for a little while. Hey, what? JJ, what's she doing? I don't know. She said she had to step away. I don't understand. Maybe she wants to pick up some of her stuff. But maybe. What were you talking about? About how cool it would be if you came over to our house and we yeah. could play and you could eat the good food that we have at home. Yeah, our house is that way. And it would be really cool. Wow, I'd love it if you take me in and give me something to eat. Yeah, we'll find something. Yeah, I think we still have good food lying around our room at home. I'd to play with you. That'd be awesome. Cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Then let's go to our place. Yeah, just wait. I'll get my stuff. I don't want anyone to steal it. Wow, she's taking her stuff to our place. We have tons of board games. I like board games. I can play a lot of things. And there's a couch you can lie on and jump on. That'll be fun. It's a lot of fun to jump on it. Wow, that's cool. You can go six feet in the air. And we can find something good to eat together. Yeah, I've got some candy stashed away in case I get a really bad sugar craving. That's good, Mikey. You didn't stash them away for a rainy day. I think now a good time to get them out and eat them. And here's our super expensive and cool house. We live there with our dad. Would he be okay with me living with you? Um, I don't think he'll care about that. He's always drinking and he won't notice you at all. Uh, okay. I'd be scared if I saw him. At least living here is better than living on the street, even if it comes with a few risks. Looks like dad is still out. Are you sure he won't see me? Yes, he won't see anyone. He drank 15 beers today. I don't think he's gonna wake up anytime soon. Your dad is so cool. It's not cool to drink beer at all. We'd like to have an adequate and normal dad. He sometimes wakes up and gets rowdy, but he won't see you. Is your room cool at all? Oh yes, at least we're warm and cozy. Can I sleep here? Really? Yes, of course. You will now live in this room with us. I hope you like it here. Wow, your room is so big and spacious. My trash can was much smaller. Ha ha, living in a dump is not cool. We felt very bad for you, so we took you in. What happens if your dad sees me? Uh, I don't think he's gonna like it. Maybe he'll yell at you. But he's not so mean, I guess. You don't have to worry. Uh, okay, whatever you say. And that couch over there is where you're gonna sleep. It's the only available sleeping space in this house. No one needs this couch at all. Wow, this couch is the best couch ever. It's softer than a pile of garbage. We're glad you're enjoying your stay with us. And sleep here all you want. I hope you don't both snore. No, we don't snore. Only our dumb drunk daddy does that. Who said I was drunk and stupid? Uh-oh, looks like we've been spotted. Who's that girl? What is she doing in my house? Dad, just calm down. I'm not going to calm down. We just decided to help a little girl. I didn't give you permission to let anyone in here. Are you out of your mind? Get out of here, now! Guys, just don't fight. I'll get out of here on my own. No, stop. Daddy's gonna calm down now. Do you think this is a shelter for stinking bums? Afmao, don't leave us, please! I'm really scared. Please, don't just hit me. What a pathetic and stupid girl she is. You all seem to have been raised badly by your parents. Don't insult our new friend. A friend? Ha ha ha. You stupid kids, I don't allow you to have friends. Ouch! You're not going anywhere, stupid girl! Please let me go! Dad, you don't have to do this, please! Looks like our dad's gone beer crazy! I won't let you hurt our friend! Let's go! Attack our daddy! Ah! Nah, take that! Ouch, it hurts! Ah! Nah, I'm the strongest one here! Ha ha ha! What you did to Mikey, that's your son! Stay away from me, I'll hold your friend hostage! Somebody help me! Ah! Dad, stop! Let her go! You're completely drunk on beer! No! Ha ha ha! Mikey, wake up! Mouse stole our daddy. We have to save her. Stop hitting me. It feels like my face is broken. Oh, yeah. Dad gave you a big black eye. It doesn't matter. Aphmau's in trouble. We have to help her. How are you gonna help her? Daddy locked that door. Besides, we're small and weak. And what are we supposed to do? I don't know, Mikey. Looks like we're in big trouble. Oh, your crying isn't helping, Mikey. We need to think about what we can even do. We can't wait until Aphmau's in danger. It's too bad we're so weak. If I was a grown-up, I'd hit my dad back. But he's strong stronger than us. There's nothing we can do about it. Actually, there is one way to get taller and stronger. And what's that way? Grow up? We can't even get out of here. Don't worry about that. I have a plan. If we are friends with Aphmau, we must rescue her from the hands of our angry and drunken father. And to do that, we're going to escape through a window. Mikey, but it's high up here. How do we get down? Stop being afraid of everything in the world, JJ. Ouch. Don't be afraid and jump in here. Okay, catch me. Ah, that was painful. Why did you catch me? Because you're too heavy and fat. Will you please explain to me what your plan is? Just a little while.
deal, JJ. We're here at the gym. This is where we're gonna get strong and big. Wow, that's genius. If we get strong, we can beat our dad. You're finally starting to think right, JJ. But I don't think we can become jocks that fast. That's where you're wrong. In just a few hours, we can put on a lot of muscle. Seriously, but people have been trying to get pumped up and beautiful for years. Are you suggesting I become a jock that fast? Yeah, I don't see what the big deal is. All right, why am I even trying to think logically? Let's get strong and go beat up dad. I'll start on the treadmill. Three hours later. Wow, I have really cool abs on my stomach. You're not the only one with cool abs. Do you think you're stronger than me? I can bench press 200 pounds. And I bench press 300 pounds. I can see you're so weak. But I know for a fact that we are stronger than our daddy. He will definitely be terrified when he sees us. Stop talking. Let's go punch daddy's face in. Oh, yeah. Friends, I've gotten super big. How would you like to hit your daddy? Write about it in the comments. He'll obviously be shocked when he sees my big hands. My hands are bigger. Every person we met walked around us in fear. What's our daddy got to feel? I think our daddy's gonna poop his pants at the sight of us. I wonder if he still drinks his beer. Oh, let's take a look out the window. There's just a bunch of bottles. Oh, here comes our daddy. The deed is done. Haha. <laughs> he came out of the basement. But what was he doing there? I don't know. We should go there. No one will bother me now. Time to look for a new bottle of beer. Okay, now he's gone. I think we should search his basement. Maybe he's hiding something interesting down there. Oh, let's go. Maybe that's where his money is stored. Or maybe something else cool. You know, I'm not so scared to walk around my house now. Our father used to beat us every time he saw us. Now we'll beat him as soon as we see him. Oh yeah, because we're two big jocks. Now it's time to check out his basement. I'm going in there first because I'm the bravest dude. Hey, I could go first too. So unfair. Oh, you're just a little coward. Shut up, Mikey. I'm very brave too. Oh my god. What's going on here? Afmau? I'm tired of sitting here. Oh, JJ, Mikey, what are you doing here? We've come to rescue you. We didn't know dad was keeping you here. Guys, you've gotten so big. How did you do that? We were just lifting weights at the gym. You guys are really cool. Oh yeah, I'm the coolest guy here. Never mind, Mikey. Break those bars now. Wow. I didn't even realize you could do that with your hands. You're so strong. With us, you don't have to be afraid of anyone anymore, baby. Thank you, guys. Without you, I would have been lost a long time ago. You're the best friends I've ever had. That's what friends are made for. Let's get out of here. Oh, yeah. It's about time we did that. I wonder what our daddy's doing now. Maybe he's drinking another bottle of beer again. I'm not really interested. I finally got to see the sunlight. Guys, do you always help your friends? Write about it in the comments. What's that rumbling noise again? JJ, Mikey, what happened to you? Why aren't you in your room? And why did you unleash that stupid little girl? Don't call her that. She's our friend. Otherwise, we'll get angry. Ha ha ha. I don't care about your anger. No. Ah, that's it. Take that. It's not so easy to fight with little kids anymore, is it? My fist wanted to punch his stupid face for a long time, but now I am calm and kind to everyone. Whoa, Mikey, one punch and dad's knocked out. I'm getting scared of you, man. I'm a tough guy, yo. Let's go for a walk together. That's a good idea. Let's go. Daddy's not gonna act like that again. That's great, but your life is too hectic. I'd rather go back to the dump. Okay, but you're always welcome to visit us again. Bye-bye and good luck, Afmau. Bye, boys. You guys are really fun. Bye-bye. You're a really cool girl. I thought Afmau was going to live with us, but no one would want to live with a dad like that. I don't care about that dad. He'll be our servant now. <laughs> a father's errand boy. This is ridiculous. If he doesn't obey us, we'll beat him again. Oh, yeah, Mikey. It's a genius plan. Several long days later. Ha <laughs> Did you know that wine makes your blood vessels dilate and your health better? Or they shrink? I don't remember. <laughs> I just like to drink. That's all. <laughs> You're such a drunk. That's what I like about you. Then let's drink to us. Ha <laughs> As the perfect drunken love couple. I've already drunk five liters of wine. Drink more. We must drink it all. Otherwise, it'll spoil. Wine can't go to spoil, but your words sound like a toast. Ha ha ha. Let's drink to that, my love. Let's go. Ha ha ha. I'd drink with you for the rest of my life. Ha <laughs> ha. Hi, Mom and Dad. I came home. Today Today was the first day of school. I really liked it there. I also got a good grade in reading. I can drink the whole bottle in one shot. Ha ha. You can't do that. Can I? Actually, I can drink two bottles of wine in two seconds. Ha ha. Uh, it's like my parents are too drunk to even notice me. Also, it stinks a lot and there's no food at home. I'm so sick of this. Ha ha ha. We need to buy more wine. Oh my god. All they care about is their alcohol. It's so frustrating. I'm gonna get some sleep. I've got a big day ahead of me tomorrow. Ha ha ha. You're awesome. The next day... 
Well, good morning, everyone. I'm awake and ready to explore the world. It's time to eat and go to school. I hope my parents have stopped drinking. Oh my god, how pathetic they look. They look like they've been drinking all night. They look like sleeping pigs. Pigs also stink and live in a pile of garbage. I hope I don't grow up like that in the future. And actually, I thought my mom was going to make me breakfast for school. I'm gonna have to go to class hungry. How unlucky I am to have such parents. I wish I had a good and loving family where no one drinks alcohol. You know, I think you're giving me too little pocket money. I need more. If you write well on the test today, we'll give you more money. Oh, that's the way to start. I'm gonna write this test better than anyone in the class. Then go ahead and write this simple test. We believe in you, JJ. You're the best son we've ever had. And you guys are the best parents I've ever had. All right, enough talk. Go to school, otherwise you'll be late. Don't worry about it. No one starts the test until I get here. I'm the best student ever. I don't care at all. Bye-bye. Good luck on the test, JJ. Bye. Bye-bye. And you don't have to worry about me. Thanks for driving me to school. Uh, it's like no one can hear me anymore. Oh well, I gotta get to school. Being an honors student isn't easy. After all, guys, do you study hard for your tests? Write about it in the comments. I've been studying for this test all night. I could just play computer games instead. Whoa, what is that? Like and subscribe? Hey guys, like this video and subscribe to our channel. It's so good to have such a helpful school sign here. Oh, who's that? Do we have a new classmate? What a great school this place is! So much bigger than my little house! Ha ha! I can tell he's rarely at our school. Probably the coolest and smartest kids in the world go to a school like this. Hey, boy, wait, you're new, right? What's your name? Uh, are you talking to me? Yeah, yeah, come here, you're Mikey. Our teacher told me about you. Uh, okay, what do you want me to do? What do I want from you? I want to be friends with you. I don't think it will be easy for you to go to school alone. Oh, I like this one. I'm in. You know my name, but what's your Name. Huh, my name is JJ. Nice to meet you. I feel like I've known you all my life, JJ. Ha ha ha. I understand you, but we've only known each other for a couple minutes. By the way, did you study for the school test? No, because I didn't know anything about it. I think I'll write it normally. Ha ha. I don't even know what will come out of this. Let's go to class. Let's go. Two hours later. Ha ha. I got the best grade. A plus plus. I'm so smart. My parents will be proud of me. Friends, what grades do you get in school? school. Write about it in the comments. As it turned out, the test wasn't hard at all. At least for me. I wonder what grade Mikey got. Hey, Mikey, why are you so sad? I got the worst grade on a school test. I couldn't write it well. Oh, an E grade? Well, people make mistakes. I got a much better grade than you. Ha ha ha. My parents would get really mad at me for that. I don't know what to do. Oh, come on. Everybody gets a bad grade once in a while. Besides, you're new to this school. My parents don't care about that. They just want good grades. Then let them go to that school themselves. Ha ha, don't be so upset. Hey, Mikey, where'd you go? Wait for me. No offense. I was just kidding. I need to fix this grade to a good one. Oh my god. I'll help you study harder for the next test. You'll have as good a grade as me too. I don't think I can do that. Together, we can do anything, Mikey, because we're friends. Oh yeah, and friends are supposed to help each other. Thank you, JJ. Ha ha, you have nothing to thank me for yet. Let's go to your house to get ready for the test. Uh, I don't have a very rich house. I don't think you're gonna like it. I don't care what kind of house you have up there. I just want you to get a good grade. All right then, then my house is that way. Follow me, JJ. Let's go, Mikey. I think we can prepare well in one day. Math isn't that hard. And here's my poor little house. Uh, your house is made of earth and straw? I certainly didn't expect that. You've already agreed to help me study for the test. It's too late to back out. Oh my God, you have so many cobwebs in here. Wow. I think those are your parents. Yeah, they've been like that since this morning. They've had a little alcohol. A little bit? They're sleeping in a huge pile of empty bottles. It's like they've been drinking it all night. They're not gonna bother us. You have nothing to be afraid of. Uh, all right. I hope they don't wake up and go on a rampage. They'll sleep for another 10 hours. Then get out your math book. Let's start with the topic of addition. All right, then. I don't have a table. We'll read from the floor. Uh, all right. This whole thing looks too poor, but I've agreed to help you in any way I can. There go the exercises where you got a bad
bad grade. You're reminding me of my fails again. I told you all people make mistakes, even smart ones like me. You've got some kind of weird textbook. There's no letters and numbers. And you wonder why I failed that school test. I just thought that's what the math was. You can't learn anything from that textbook. What's going on here? Oh, my parents are awake. Uh, hello. I'm Mikey's friend. We didn't allow anyone in our house. I let him in. We wanted to study for a school test. Some strange and smelly boy. I don't like it at all. Don't swear. I just wanted to help your son. We're getting ready for math. You're an idiot, Mikey. We didn't allow anyone in the house. Stop hitting Mikey. It's not his fault he failed the test. He failed the test too? We have to punish him. Don't do that. He's in pain. Nah! He's your son. Oh my god. You gave him a black eye. You get out of here. You're not welcome here, stupid stranger. Okay, just don't hit me. I didn't steal anything. You've stolen all our wine. Now we have nothing to drink in this house. I don't need your wine. I'm not an alcoholic. You're a thief. You should be in jail. Go away. Otherwise, we'll call the police. What kind of police? You beat up your son for nothing. It's not your business. What do you mean, not my business? And how is Mikey going to do so well on that math test? Oh my god, I feel so bad for him. Friends, do your parents beat you? Write about it in the comments. Let's see how many of us. Moments later. Yeah, that's a real problem. I'm a little kid. There's nothing I can do to help Mikey. I feel so sorry for him. I'd like to take him to live at my house, but his parents won't let me. I don't want to leave my friend. I think Mikey would do anything to help me if I was in danger. And I'm a weak and pathetic boy. Oh my god, how can I help Mikey? I'll just have to sit here and be sad. Hey boy, what are you so sad about? This bench is made for crybabies. <laughs> oh, who are you? Just another jock. Now that was a shame. Tell me what happened. Oh, my friend got a bad grade in school. I decided to help him study for his homework at home, but then his parents woke up and beat him up. I want to help him and get him out of there, but I'm weak and small. That's why I'm so sad. <laughs> it's no problem at all. You can always get big and strong. But how do I do it? I'm only seven years old. Me too. <laughs> I just started going to the gym and working out, and you can do it too. What? You're seven years old? That's unbelievable. Okay then, I'll agree to go to your gym. Oh, really? Whoa! <laughs> you made the right choice, boy. <laughs> you're so weird. I think you're crazy. No, I've just been going to the gym instead of school all this time. Let's go to my gym. You'll be just like me. Okay, then I can beat up Mikey's parents. I'm his friend and I'm supposed to help him. A pumped up guy can beat up any man at all. <laughs> the gym will help you with that. I really hope so, man. Let's go. When are we going to get to your gym? Patience, little man. We're here. Here's my super cool gym. You're going to love it. So here you were skipping school and growing your muscles. Muscles are more important than brains kid. <laughs> Trust me, you'll be convinced of that more than once soon. Um, I think you're right. I'm the smartest boy in the class, but I can't do anything against Mikey's parents. Come on, let's make me a pumped up man. Make yourself at home, kid. I've got all kinds of machines and dumbbells here. Wow, it's pretty cozy in here. Now I know why jocks hang out at the gym all the time. Because there are doggy TVs here. Oh yeah, those dogs are pretty cute. Okay, coach, where do I begin to get my muscles to start growing? Uh, let me think about it. Since you're new here, you should get on the treadmill. What? Are you serious? Running? Oh my god, I hate running. It's so boring. I'm a coach. Take my orders. Three hours later. Ha ha ha. The treadmill has really made me stronger. Just don't break my gym. Ha ha ha. I'm too strong and stupid. I can't hear you. Ha ha ha. How I hate you all. You're always breaking everything around you. Stop whining, you boring man. I'm the strongest man in town now. Friends, do I look pretty now? Write about it in the comments. I think I'm super handsome. Anyone who doesn't think so, I'll find him and beat him up. Ha ha ha! Now it's time for me to go visit Mikey. It's time to get him out of there. And this is Mikey's poor, stinky house. His parents can't build a decent house. Friends, I hope you don't live in a similar place. I can destroy this entire house from the ground with just my touch. Ha 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 ha! Because I'm super strong. Mikey, I came to save you. Get your stuff. You're gonna live with me. JJ, why are you so big? You can ask questions later. Hurry up and pack your bags. It's time to get out of here. What's that noise in our house again? Oh my god, what is that monster in our hallway? Get out of here. We're afraid of you. I'm not going anywhere without my friend Mikey. He doesn't live here anymore. Uh, a fight's about to begin. We won't let you steal our baby. I'm gonna hit you now. What? You're gonna hit me? Ha 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 ha. Just try it. You'll regret it because my punch will be much stronger. Stop talking, honey. Hit him. Nah! There you go. Now you'll know how to hit the weak. You freak. Oh my god, you killed my husband, you monster. You're going to jail. Shut up, you stupid woman. You should drink less. Then no one would get hurt. Some high school kid can't shut me up. I'll beat you too. Nah, I'm gonna knock you out too. Ha ha, that was easy. JJ, you're 
are so strong. Beating adults isn't so easy. They're drunken idiots. They're also bad parents. You'll be better off at my house. Thank you, JJ, for rescuing me from that horrible family. You're a real friend. You can thank me later. We don't have much time. Hurry up. Okay, I just need to get all my comics and toys together. For real? Okay, you can have this too. I'm ready. We can get on the road. Wow, that was fast. Well done. I knew I could trust you. I don't have a lot of stuff. Oh my god, turn around. What? What are you talking about? Hands in the air. Don't move. I'm not gonna let some idiot steal my son. Oh, does your dad have a gun? This is bad. The gun will be way cooler than a bunch of muscle. Mikey, what do we do? I didn't see that coming. Looks like your brains dried up when you were pumping your muscles. Go outside. I don't want you in my house. Okay, okay, okay. Just don't shoot anybody, okay? Shut up. You can't make conditions around here. I'm the boss now. I'll shoot you, then I'll hit Mikey and go back to drinking my wine. You're an old and stinking drunk. Oh, I wouldn't insult me if I were you. You're a stink- Ouch! That's it. Now I'm protecting my friends. Mikey, great job. You saved me. Thank you. That was a good punch. I hit my dad for the first time. And you know, I loved it. I should do that more often. Let's go outside before your parents wake up again. I hit him so hard. I don't think he'll wake up for a couple days. I hear you, Mikey. Hitting adults is pretty cool. It should be done when they can't fight back. You're right. Now we have to go to my home. I'll finally live somewhere where I won't get beaten up. Oh, yeah. It's not cool to live in a house like this. I hope we don't have to hit your parents, too. We won't have to. The next day. I just woke up and I slept so well. Now I need to eat a big meal. I hope my mom cooked me something. I have to go to school today. And I wouldn't want to study hungry because that way I'd be thinking about food instead of knowledge. I'm almost done making breakfast pie. Whoa! Yeah, but it's too late. We gotta pack up and go. Already? I want to try mom's pie. It's time to go. But I'm really hungry. How am I gonna study if I don't eat? You can have pie after school. Wow, it's already time to run to school. Well, okay, but I'll be hungry all day at school. What am I gonna do? Dad Daddy can give you money for food, and you'll eat. I can give you money. The school cafeteria has a lot of good food that's not expensive at all. Yeah, see? You won't starve. Sounds good. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. Here you go. Try not to spend it all at once. You should have enough for the day. Thanks, Dad. I'll try not to spend it all at once. Good luck with your studies, honey. Thank you, Mom. Okay, come on. If you're late for school, it's too bad, and you might get detention. I don't want to hear from your teachers about your behavior. Hurry up. I'm on my way. Hopefully, there'll be something nice and appetizing in the cafeteria. I bought a new car, get in and try not to get the seats dirty. This car is very expensive. Wow, this car looks really cool. Yeah, that car looks cool. My dad makes so much money he can afford a cool car and give me money for the school cafeteria. Hurry up. Wow, this car is so big inside and it looks so cool. It's lucky the roads are clear today and no one will stop us from getting to school. Otherwise, we'd be stuck in traffic and you'd be late for school, which would be terrible. Yeah, they give you a big scolding at school when you're late for class. It's bad. They can call the parents. We finally arrived. It takes a huge amount of time to get here, even if you drive a car. Let's hurry up. There's still a little time before school starts and you'll be late. I hope you can walk to your class by yourself. Hurry up and go. But remember, I gave you money for food, not toys. So don't spend it on anything and only use it when you're hungry. Well, I'm finally at my favorite school for kids. I'll try to get good grades and make you happy. And I'll keep track of the money you gave me. Yes, yes, don't forget to make friends. It might help you. And they can help you with your studies or if you suddenly get into trouble. Yes. I'll try to find friends. Good luck, Dad. I can't believe how cool my dad is. He bought himself such an expensive car and gave me so much money so that I wouldn't be hungry while I was in school. I hope I'm not late for class yet. We always have food machines at the entrance in case anyone gets hungry. It's strange that there's no one there. It looks like classes haven't started yet, and I came too early. Wow, someone wrote subscribe and like, I think this is good advice and it's worth doing it. Oh, hi. Did you come very early too? Yes, I thought lessons had already started, but it turned out there wasn't even anyone here yet. Hmm, someone wrote there to subscribe and like, I think this is cool advice. Yeah, my dad told me to find friends, so won't you be my friend? Yes, of course. I would also like to have friends at school. It's so boring during recess and there's no one to play with, so I'll be happy to be friends with you. Yeah, that sounds cool. We can play at recess and help each other if we need anything. You're so cool. Yes, we need to quickly go to class and take the best seats before no one comes. Otherwise, we will have to take the front seats and we will most likely be called to the board and asked questions. And I don't like being bombarded with questions about knowledge. Yes, I'm also not a good student, and that's why I can't answer something normally at the board. Look, these are the best places where we won't be noticed. And so children, take your 
your seats and prepare your sheets. Now I will explain your task to you and you will individually write a test, after which I will give you grades on your knowledge that you acquired this weekend. I hope I pass this test. I promised my parents I would get good grades. I also bring good grades to my parents. Yes, I think we can pass this test and get good grades. And so Three hours later. I can't believe it. I didn't even think that I would be able to pass the test so well and get all the good grades. Hey, my friend is crying. I need to ask what happened. Maybe I can help. What happened? Why are you crying? You won't believe it. I failed the test and they gave me a bunch of bad marks. And now I won't be allowed to go out and have fun. Wow, this is very bad. If you are not allowed to go out and play with me, then I will have no one to play with. But listen, we can go to you and I will help you learn this difficult test and teach you how to solve it, after which you can retake it with an excellent grade and we can play outside together. Besides, I passed everything perfectly. I know how to solve. Well, this sounds very strange, but cool. I agree. Let's come to me. I'll show you where I live and I hope you'll teach me how to solve these difficult problems. Yes, I solved everything perfectly, so I know well how to solve these problems. Look, it's still written there. Subscribe and like. I think it's really a good action since it's still there. Yes, I think it's worth doing it right now and life will become better. Better. I think so, too. Yep, let's go to my house. If we go now, we will get to it in a couple of hours, and you will teach me how to solve these problems. Don't be afraid. It's easy. Finally, we are at my house. The journey to your house took a very long time. I hope you learn quickly, and I will have time to get home to tell my parents about my successes today. Your house looks poor. Don't you like my house? Yep, he doesn't look very good, but don't be afraid. Well, I don't think there will be any problems, but he certainly looks strange. Yep, it looks weird, but I like it. Okay, let's go see you. I can't wait to start teaching you. Wow, there are so many cobwebs in your house. I hope all the spiders have already escaped from here. Oh my god, what a delicious swill. I can't believe it. Is this your dad? He drinks. Yes, he drinks often. And who else is this? Who did you bring to our house? This is my friend from school. He came with me to help me learn to solve problems from the test that was given today. Did you pass your subject test today? Yes, he is from a rich family. He is good at solving tests. Yes, that's right. I wanted to help. From a rich family? Do you have money or diamonds? Or are you a little liar who just lied to my son so he could come visit him? No, my dad is rich and he gave me several diamonds. So I really want to help my friend understand the test so that he can solve it well. Wow, okay, kids go to your room to study and while I'm here, I'll mind my own business. Dad looks weird. Better let's go here. This is my place. Here you can help me solve these problems. Wow, you have a lot of books. I think it won't take much time and it will be easy for me to teach you how to solve these problems. Hey, come here. Let him solve his problems himself. But I want to help. This is not your problem, and you don't need to help him. He should solve them himself. Otherwise, he won't learn anything. You're starting to make me angry. But Dad! None, but you got a bad grade, and you think you're going to have a good time? You really upset me, and your friend is starting to piss me off with his boorish behavior. But I want to help my friend. It looks like you were raised poorly, and you don't understand when they tell you to mind your own business. <laughs> Oh no, my friend. Dad, why did you hit him? He just wanted to help me with my homework. I already told you that you have to do your homework yourself. Otherwise, you will get the same as he did, and it's none of your business. You sit in your place and start doing your homework, and when I return, you better know how to solve them. Otherwise, you will get even more than him. And if I hear you cry again, you won't go out at all and make friends with anyone else. So, let's go to your place and start doing your homework. Until I got even angrier. You hit my friend! He wanted to help me! I will run away from you because you are very angry! And I will call someone to help me! You are very angry and scary! Come on, stop little freak! If you run away now, I will find you and beat you! I don't want to live with you! You hit my friend! It's terrible! You will still get yours, just like your friend got it? Came back quickly, don't make me mad! Or you'll get even more! Than your friend got? I told Two you! Two hours later... Oh god, my head hurts so bad! I got hit right in the head and I just passed out! I can't believe I'm tied up. What should I do now? I'm tied up in the basement. It's unclear where. My parents will worry. Besides, it smells terrible here and I hear someone. Help me. Yes, don't scream, baby. No one will hear you here and no one will come for you. I hope you are very comfortable here because until your rich parents pay for you, they will not get you back. But you can't do that. Yes, I can and will do so. I'm tired of living in misery while all sorts of rich people drive around in their cool cars and enjoy a fun life. I also want to live luxuriously and enjoy everything in life. You will be imprisoned for capturing me and keeping me in such a bad place. Shut up. I know what will happen. 
I will get a whole lot of money for you and I will go to live in beautiful places and no one will stop me. So sit here and enjoy your camera while I figure out how to tell your parents so they can pay me. No one will pay you and I'll get out of here. But what should I do now if my parents don't pay him back? I need to figure out what to do. <laughs> oh my god, there's no way I can help JJ. He spent tons of diamonds for me, trying to help me with my homework, and now he's a prisoner. Hey baby, why are you crying? There's some kids crying at this bus stop again. Oh my god, what's that monster next to me? What do you mean a monster? I'm just a pumped up, good looking dude. I also own my own gym. Tell me what's wrong with you, kid. Haha. <laughs> my dad kidnapped my best friend in the basement. Now he's beating him, and if I go back to him, he'll beat me too. That's why I'm sitting here all sad. I'm a helpless little kid who can't do anything to him, and no one's gonna help me. I'll help you. I can make you stronger because I'm a super duper awesome trainer at my gym. You're gonna beat your dad. <laughs> You'll also get bigger, just like me, because your muscles will make you bigger. Oh, this is just what I need. I will do anything to save my friend because he risked his life for me. Oh yeah, that's the spirit I like. Come with me. You're gonna be a super duper jock, but you're gonna have to do a little iron work. Uh, you look like you're in your 40s, and I'm only six. Who cares, though? Logic doesn't work in the world of Minecraft. I'll do whatever you say, coach. Make me the toughest TV man in the world. I want to be like you. Then get up and go to my gym. Only there can you become cool and strong like me. Oh, yeah. I hope I'm not doing something stupid like running. Shut up, rookie. I'm the trainer here, and I know better than you how to grow muscles. <laughs> wow, that coach is a really cool dude. Way cooler than you. Three hours later. Oh, yeah. I've pumped every muscle in my body. I believe I am ready to fight my greatest enemy, the doors. Why did you break down the doors, idiot? Because they got in my way. Nothing and no one can stop me from saving my best friend. With such big muscles and body, I could easily beat my father. JJ, I'm coming to save you. Friends, anybody, help. I've been in this basement for hours. No one will help me. Hey, TV man, let me go at last. I didn't do anything to you. Are you even listening to me? My mom's waiting for me at home. Shut up. You're keeping me from doing nothing and living in poverty. Uh, what are you even talking about? Untie me. It's against the law to steal children. No, I hate all you rich people. You took all my money. You didn't even have any money at all. I should know better how much money I have. You just sit there quietly or I'll hit you again. <laughs> Why are you being so mean? Because I don't have enough money. Oh my God. You're going to pay for this sooner or later. <laughs> Never. Here I am, babies. It's time to take down evil and greedy daddies. Hey, turn around. <laughs> I'm here to stuff your face, you dumb daddy. Oh my God, Mikey. Why are you getting so big and scary? Your anger at everyone around you has made me stronger. It's time for my revenge. What's he even talking about? I don't know, Mikey. Hit that idiot already and set me free. Ah! That's what happens to anyone who hurts my friends. Wow, Mikey. You really are the coolest and strongest friend in the world. It's so good to see you. It's good to see you alive too, JJ. Untie me already. My arms are so stiff from sitting like this. Who? I'm finally free. That's the power of friendship. Mikey, how did you get so big? I met one coach who helped me get stronger. You're definitely stronger than your stupid daddy. It's very very easy to hit a lying man. Oh yeah. Let's go outside already. Take that. Haha. -ha. I'm finally getting out of this stinking basement. Now you can come home and I can easily command my daddy to start working and stop drinking. Oh yeah. My parents must be really worried about me right now. By the way, I want muscles like yours. I'll teach you everything I know later, JJ. We're both going to be jocks. Now you really should go home or it'll be dark soon and you might get lost on the way. Okay, Mikey. Thanks again for saving me. You and I are friends and friends are supposed to help each other. Bye bye, Mikey. See you at school tomorrow. One million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. Ah, new morning, new day. I'm gonna have a great day today. I slept so well that I just feel incredibly good right now. I gotta go downstairs and see what my parents made for breakfast. I'm so hungry right now. So. Yeah, I'll be at work as soon as I take the kid to school. I'm on my way. So we'll talk about it when I get there. Well, I hope you have everything ready for me when I arrive. Hey, Dad, did you make me anything for breakfast? I'm so hungry I could eat a ton of candy. No, I didn't have time to cook you anything. I'll give you some diamonds so you can buy something to eat in the school cafeteria. Try not to waste it. Take it and enjoy Enjoy it. And now you need to get ready for school and hurry up. I have to get to work on time. So many diamonds. Thank you. I'm already running to get ready for school and I'll make it quick. Thank you for giving me so much. I'll try not to spend it all at once. And so where's mine?
Ah, uh, I'm finally awake, awake and alert, and I have a full day of adventures ahead of me. I should go to the kitchen and see if my parents have cooked me something because I'm full of energy right now, but I'm incredibly hungry. Oh, it's the gas and light bill again. I don't have the money to pay it. They're charging me so much that before I can pay one bill, I get a new one. I can't live like this. Hey, Dad, what's wrong? You look sad. Oh, son, this is hard to explain. Come sit with me. Okay, I'm sitting down. What are you so sad about? Look at this bill. I'm supposed to pay it in a couple days, but I don't have the money. It's gonna get us evicted. And now I get it, but what are we supposed to do? It would be bad if we didn't have a place to live. Don't worry, son. All it takes is 32 diamonds. I think I know where I can get them. So we're just gonna keep living in the house? I'll take care of the bills myself. Don't worry. The main thing is that you study hard and get the knowledge you need. By the way, it's time for you to go to school, so hurry up. It'll be bad if you're late for class. So stop sitting with me and being sad. Yeah, well, I'm all packed and ready to go to school, but I still have time. Hurry Hurry up and go to school, where new adventures await you. It's unbelievable how much they want for just water and electricity. All right, good luck, Dad. I'm out of here. My dad's so upset about these bills, it's terrible. I finally got to school. It's such a long way. I wish my dad had a car and could drive me around. It would be so cool. Everyone would be jealous of me. It's the best school in town. I have to get good grades to please my dad. I hope this at least makes him a little happy. After all those bills. Wow, that's a cool car. It's obviously a very rich man's ride. I wish I could take my dad for a ride like that. And here we are at school. Don't forget to get good grades today and save the money I gave you. That car is so expensive. Yes, I'll try to get good grades. But can you give me some more money? The cafeteria food is very expensive. All right, take it. So much, I promise I'll get good grades and make you happy. Thank you. I'll keep track of what I spend that money on. Well, run to school, but I have to hurry to work. I'm already late. Well, good luck at work. Wow, his dad is so rich that he drives such a cool car and gives him so much money. I want my dad to be so cool and rich. I should meet him. Then maybe he'll give me some money and that would be cool. I hope he's in the same class as me. That would be great. I'll wait here and try to call him. See if he wants to be my friend. I'm finally in school. Classes haven't started yet, and I have time. Hey, hey, are you going to class too? What? Yeah, I was gonna go to class. Cool, me too. But it's a couple minutes before school starts, so we can just stand here and talk while no one's around. So, my name is JJ, and I go to school here. And what's your name? My name is Mikey, and I'm a student here like you. So what did you want to talk about? I thought we could be friends and help each other with homework and tests if they come up. Wow, that sounds awesome, I agree. It's cool to have friends. We can help each other with things and always get everything in on time and play games together and have fun. Yeah, that sounds really cool. Look what I wrote on the board in this class. Looks like it's for us. Like and subscribe. Yes, I think it's written for everyone. It can help us to be more popular. So everyone should take that advice and do it right now. I think you're right. We should go to class. Classes should start soon. And I don't want to be late because the teacher might scold again and call the parents and then they'll be sad. Yeah, come on. I don't want to be late too. I think we should sit next to each other. Yeah, that's a cool idea. Then we can cheat off each other and give each other tips. Three hours later. Everybody shut up. Get down on the ground and nobody will get hurt. I'll take the money and I'll leave right away. Don't move or I'll shoot you. So don't move and give me your money. Don't play with me. This is a robbery. I won't repeat myself. I will shoot you if anyone scream. Wow, that was surprisingly easy. Everyone's so docile when you yell at them and point a gun at them. Good thing I'm on my bike and I can get out of here fast. Now I have enough money to pay my bills and more. It was easy and I did it. I'm so energized right now. I'm finally home after such a hard and long day. I studied so much today that I'm incredibly tired. I hope my dad is home by now and I can show him that I got a bunch of good grades and make him happy because he was so sad this morning and that's too bad. Hey dad, it's weird he's not home. Usually when I get home, he's already home. Hmm, maybe he was late at work. Oh, I hear the sound of his bike. He must be pulling up. I'm finally home, that was dangerous. Hi JJ. Hey dad. We gotta get out of here before the cops come in here and bust me. So pack your things 
quickly. What? What's wrong? Why do I have to pack my stuff? Why do the cops want to bust you? Son, I robbed a bank, and I got a lot of diamonds, and now all the cops in town are after me. We need to pack up our stuff and get out of town before the cops find us. Pack your things fast. But why did you rob a bank? Because we didn't have any money, so pack your things. But I don't have a lot of stuff, so I'm all set. Okay, I'll be ready in a little while. We have to get out of here before the cops come. We'll go someplace nice and live rich because I stole a lot of diamonds, and now we'll have enough for a very rich life for the rest of our lives. What? What are those noises? What? What are you talking about? I can't hear anything. Are you okay, Dad? Can't you hear that noise? The cops are here. Freeze! Everybody on the ground! It's the police! Oh, no. We've got the thief. Get him. No, wait! That's my dad! Back off, kid. We got your dad. He's a dangerous criminal who's been threatening people with guns. Ow, 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 that hurts. My dad's in pain! That's the way it's supposed to be. Back off, kid! You've already got him! Good job, guys! You got him! This guy was incredibly dangerous, but you handled it. You did a great job. I deserve that money. You deserve to be in jail for the rest of your life. Sir, what do we do now? All right, kid. Your dad's going to jail. Pack him up, boys, and go to the police in case closed. I can't go to jail. Wait! Get up, come on. Don't touch me. I can get up on my own. You'll pay for grabbing me. I'm innocent. Shut up and get out of here. You'll have to plead your case in jail. Wait, but what am I supposed to do alone? You have to let him go. Please, we'll get back everything he took. Bring him back. I can't live without him. Look, kid, you're an adult and you can live on your own. Your father should go to court and face him for what he did. He broke a lot of rules and robbed a bank. But! No buts. I told you everything. Sir, we're ready to go. All right, go to the station. I'll be here for a second and I'll be right behind you. You learn to live on your own and don't get upset. It's your father's fault for robbing the bank and leaving you alone. He knew what he was doing. I can't believe they just took him away. What now? Let me go now. I want my lawyer. I'm being handcuffed. It wasn't me. Shut up already. You'll rot in jail for life. Ha ha ha. Catching you was easy. Oh my god. I can't go to jail. Someone has to take care of my son. He'll be lost on his own without me. He can't go to an orphanage. Oh my god. Yeah, my dad was a complete idiot. He could have just gotten a job in a factory instead of robbing a bank. But still, I'll be sad without my daddy. Who's gonna buy me food now? Never mind. And now it's cartoon time. Six months later. Hi friends, I'm getting used to living without my dad, and today I have Mikey as my guest. Hey everybody, tonight we're having a super duper cool party at JJ's house. Oh yeah, I'm a little bored living alone at home without my mom and dad. Of my friends, all I have left is Mikey and a bunch of cockroaches running around on the floor. I hope they don't eat me. Don't be afraid, Mikey. I tamed them, just like pets. So how do you like my house? It's a little dirty, but it's still cozy. It's very dusty, and there are cobwebs everywhere. You might want to clean it up. It's cool, though. I'll do it later. Better check out my toy collection. This toy's name is Bob. Then comes Peter. Then Ilya. Those are some weird names for your toys. But it doesn't matter. I wanted to brag that I have a whole bunch of them at home. Hey, JJ. I finally broke out of that stinking prison. Whoa. Hi, Dad. I'm glad to see you. And this is Mikey, my friend. We play toys together. Yes, your son invited me here. He says he has more toys at home. Oh, more toys at home? Does Mikey live with a rich family? Yes, he's very rich rich. Much richer than you. Wow, you must have something to eat every day. Oh yeah, I eat ten times a day. I wish I could live my life like Mikey. Yes, then I have one idea how we can get rich. Wow, my dad's gonna get a job. No, jobs are for stupid people. JJ, grab Mikey and take him to the basement. He's gonna be our hostage. Whoa, dad, easy. Put the gun away. Hands up. Wait, calm ah! down. Oh my god, dad, what did you do? Are you out of your mind? That was my friend. He's not your friend. He's rich and greedy, and we are poor. We'll demand a ransom from his family. I'm not doing this! You will do whatever I say. Get him to the basement, now! No, I would never betray my friend. I will not help you commit another crime. Stop! I command you to obey me. Come back here! Never! I care more about Mikey than you. Three hours later. Oh my god, this headache is so bad. What's going on? Where did I wake up? I'm in some smelly, damp, poor basement. It's not such a stinky basement. Shut up, or I'll hit you again. Let me go, please. Ha ha ha, let you go? Ha ha, you're so funny. Your family will pay me a lot of money to release you. And I'll use the money to buy a cool house with a nice basement. I hate rich people. They took all the money from poor people. Just get a job, man. No, it's too long, boring, and difficult. Oh my god, I didn't expect my father to be capable of doing such a bad thing 
a second time at all. I'm very angry and resentful of my dad, but how can I help Mikey? He's my friend. I have to save him from that basement, but I can't do anything at all because I'm small and weak. Daddy will just hit me because he's an adult. I'm so helpless and no one in this world can help the little boy at the bus stop. Hey, why are you crying alone? What's wrong, kid? Oh my God, what is this monster in front of me? Wow, you're so muscular. So why are you crying? My friend is being badly abused. That's why I'm offended. What's the big deal? Just punch the offender, that's all. It's not that simple. The abuser is my father. He's too big and strong. <laughs> You're whining like a little girl. Take matters into your own hands, get stronger, and beat your father. If you try hard enough, you can beat anyone. It's worth it just to get pumped up at my super duper awesome gym. What? The gym? Are you saying that I can become as strong as you? Oh yeah, <laughs> look at my hands. These two friends can easily beat any person in the world. But I'm only six years old old, I can't get that big. And I'm five years old. It's not a problem at all. Follow me. I will become your personal trainer. You'll make a great jock. Wow, this is what I need. I agree. Let's go. My muscles will be as big as yours. Oh, yeah. When are we coming? I already want to become super strong. We've already arrived, baby. My personal gym is located here. Boys become real men here. Wow, becoming a man at six is pretty cool. But I just want to save my best friend from captivity. Patience, baby. You need to train long and hard to become strong and big. But I don't have time for this. I have to help my friend right now. Okay, I get you. Then we will be engaged in an accelerated program for muscle gain. Okay, I'm completely at your disposal, coach. Where should I start? Um, let me think about it. You're so small and weak. <laughs> I've never seen such weak guys. Oh my god, it sounded insulting. Stop whining, girl. Start lifting the dumbbells. Now we're going to make you a super jock. Oh my god, I don't think I'm capable of moving this at all. Moments later. That's it. I've had enough of this gym. I've already become strong than you, coach. Why are you all breaking down doors? Do you even know how much it costs? You are freaks. I'm not a freak. I'm JJ. Or rather, a stronger version of the old and weak JJ. Ha 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 ha. Mikey, I'm coming to save you. Wait for me. I hate these kids. They spoil everything all the time. Get out of here. And here is my old house. My dad clearly has no idea that he's going to be in a lot of pain soon. Friends, do you want to be as strong? Then like this video. Hey, is anyone at home? I'm back from school. Ha ha ha. Oh yes, dad was talking about the basement. I should go there. When are your parents coming? I'm tired of waiting for them here. I do not know where they are. All you have to do is call them. I don't have a cell phone. This device is too expensive. Stop pointing that thing at me. Ha ha ha. Are you afraid? Ha ha ha. Get your hands off my friend, you stinking criminal. Oh my god, JJ, why have you become so big? It looks like he's pumped up. I came here to save Mikey. No, I'll sell the Mikey to his family. You're not taking him away from me. Get your hands off him. Otherwise, I'll hit you. I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> I'm going to knock you out. Nah, nah, nah. That's it. No one can hurt my best friend, even my own father. Oh, I was waiting for the police, but you came, JJ. It's amazing. You're my friend. We have to help each other. Okay, I'm really glad to see you. It's so cool to be friends with a strong dude like you. By the way, maybe you can untie me because these ropes are so uncomfortable. Okay, one second. Tadam, you're free, Mikey. Thanks, JJ. You're a real lifeguard. I am so thankful to you. Friends, would you like to beat your parents? Write about it in the comments. I really liked beating my dad. I hope I don't go to jail for this. I don't think anyone gets jailed for protecting friends. You're right, Mikey. Let's get out of this rotten and smelly basement already. Okay, no one likes being in basements. Although my dad and I live here in winter because it can be cold at home. But we don't have money for a heater. Okay, I'm going home and you beat your dad up again so he doesn't do any more crimes. Okay, Mikey, I'll keep an eye on him. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, JJ. I'll see you at school. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow, Mikey. See you next morning. Me and Mikey went out today to hang out on the playground. It's a nice day. The sun is shining and it's warm and nice. I love nice weather and the whole area is ours. Mikey's right. No one's here today because it's a work day. So it's all ours. We've taken over this lot and it's ours now. We're just visiting Mikey. Never mind. Watch what I can do and repeat after me. What? What did you come up with? I saw it on TV. It's called parkour. Wow, I heard about that. Just jump from place to place on high. Balance yourself so you don't fall. Yeah, it doesn't look hard, but you gotta be careful. Just like that, JJ. You're awesome. Yes, it's very high up here, but there's sand at the bottom. It's soft. Don't worry. If you fell down, it wouldn't be a big deal. Yeah, I guess you're right. Wow, JJ, look who's there. Wow, I haven't seen her around here before. She must be new in town. Mikey, we should go and meet her. Are we? Maybe she'll want to be friends with us. <laughs> Yeah, we should. It'll be cool to hang out with a beautiful girl like that. And it'll be a lot more fun in a threesome. Come on, don't just stand there. Go get her. 
Wait for me. She's gone somewhere else. We have to go after her. Come on. Before she runs away and we lose her, we have to meet her. I'm running. Wait, you're too fast. No, you're too slow. You should run more often. Wait, where is it? It was here somewhere, but now it's gone. You think she ran away? I don't know, but I can't see her. Looks like we lost her. She was too fast. Yeah, it looks like she left and we didn't get a chance to meet her. So now I'm sad. Maybe she's home by now. Maybe. Too bad. And I really wanted to meet her. Me too. She looked really pretty. Never mind. Me. We can go back to the playground. Maybe she went that way. Maybe we'll see her again. But no, she went the other way. The next day. Wake up, kids. It's time for school. Ah, I'm getting up. Hurry up and get up. You're going to be late for school. I'm already awake. Mikey's still asleep. Mike, get up. It's time for school. Come on. Wake up, sleepyhead. It's time for school. Is it time already? I don't want to go to school. You can buy yourself some candy after school and enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, we're allowing. Wow, we can buy candy. Yes, you can. Get your things together. Yeah, hurry up and get ready. We'll take you to school soon. Cool. We're going to school with our parents. Yeah, don't have to go. I'm glad you like it. Now get your school things together. Uh -huh. We'll be waiting for you at the car outside and hurry up. Yeah, we'll hurry up. It's almost time for school to start. Okay, Mikey. We need to get ready for school. I think we should dress in our school uniforms and take our backpacks full of books. School form? Yes, to our uniforms. I don't want to change into school form. At least take the books. You can't learn without them. Okay, that I can... Don't forget your books for today's class like last time. Yeah, yeah, I got everything. I'm ready to go to school. Our parents are waiting for us. Yeah, they said they're waiting for us at the car. We gotta get there soon. Dad said he'd give us a ride, so I guess we'll take the cop car. Isn't that cool? Cool, yeah. Wow, that sounds cool. See, I was right. We're gonna take the police car. Yeah, our mom and dad are waiting us. Come on, let's go faster. Everything's gonna be okay, I promise. Finally, the kids are here. Yeah, we're ready to go. You're gonna take a joyride in a cop car today. Wow, Mikey, you were right. We're taking a cop car. That's cool. Well, I hope you didn't forget anything because we're not coming back. We've got a lot to do today. Get in the car and we'll go. Wow, cool. Yeah, let's go. We're gonna ride in a cop car. Yeah, that's cool. Why don't we get dad to turn on the siren while we're driving? It's cool that we have a cool dad who can drive drive us around in a cop car. They're really cool. Get in the car, JJ. I'm going. Hey, Dad, can you turn on the siren while we're driving? Well, no, it's only for work cases. Please? I'd like to go with sirens and blinkers. It's dangerous. Someone might think we're being chased, and they'll have to pull off the road, which could cause some problems. Okay, maybe you're right. And we're finally here at your school. Yay, finally we made it to school. It's been so long. Well, it's faster than walking. And so, kids, we've arrived at your school. I think it's time for you to go there and learn new knowledge. Yeah, yeah, we'll be right there. Thanks for driving us. Yeah, I'm always happy to help. So, this is our school where we learn and gain new knowledge. Yeah, you should hurry up. JJ and I still have time. And don't forget to buy candy on the way home. Yeah, Mikey and I will definitely buy. Yeah, we'll try to remember to buy them. Okay, well, we should get going. Good luck with your studies. Yeah, study hard, get your award. You gotta go or lay good luck. Good luck to you. Yeah, thank you. Good luck, too. Thanks for bringing it in. Good luck. We won't forget the candy. Yeah, we'll try to buy more of them. And they're gone, so I think we should hurry before school starts. Yeah, I think we should go. It's cool that we got to ride in a car like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you gonna say that all day now? Well, maybe. Uh, I hope we don't have much class today and get out of here real quick. I don't want to sit here. Wow! What? Look, it says like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, yeah. You think that's for us? I think that for all who see this inscription... Let's go, mister. For all classes are about to start. I hope the teacher's not here yet. I hope the teacher doesn't show up at all. Yeah, looks like it hasn't arrived yet. Lucky you. It'd be great if she didn't show up at all. The class is already here. And if she doesn't show up, we don't have to stay. Study. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it's she. Hi, kids. I'm a little late, but I have good news for you. You'll have a new student in your class. She'll be right in and say hello. She? That could be the girl we saw. I don't think so, but maybe. Okay, kids, quiet. Please come in and welcome your new class. Wow, she's coming in right now. Hi, everyone. Wow, that's her. I came from Japan to study here as an exchange student. Have a good day. She came here from Japan as an exchange student. That's her. Wow, I can't believe you were right. And I'd love to meet new friends. It's her. I don't have any friends in this town yet, so I'd really be glad to meet them. Oh, she wants to meet new friends. Hello, new girl from Japan. Hello, you too. Glad to meet you. Where do you want me to sit, teacher? Uh, there's only room in the back, so sit next to JJ and Mikey. Wow, she looks so pretty and cute. I want to date her. Sit down here? Yeah, you got that right this way. So Mikey and JJ, don't interfere with your new student and don't make noise. Behave yourselves. Hi again, Mikey and JJ. Hi. Nice to meet you. He he he, she's happy to see us. I want to go out with her. You're right. She's very pretty and sweet. I want to go dating her too. Hey. I think she'll 
she'll want to go dating me. I want to go dating her, too. No, wait. We can't be a threesome. I'll go dating her. But I want to, too. I said that first. Wow, it's so beautiful here. No, I'm gonna date her. Ouch, ouch, hey. JJ, stop hitting Mikey. You're disrupting class. What are you doing? But Mikey called me bad names. That's not true. Get out of class now. Why did you lie? Come on, get out of here. But it's Mikey's fault. You're interrupting class. That's not true. I don't want to hear who's right and who's wrong. Get out of class and do what you want. It's not my fault JJ started fighting. You triggered me first. So what? I didn't hit you. I want to go dating her. You started first, like a crazy. So, I want to go dating her too. But I too. But I don't hit everyone who wants to go dating her too. I'm gonna date her. You're being bad, JJ. You should control yourself better. This is all your fault. I want to date her and that's all. So what now? You want to fight for her? Come on, I'll ask her out first. You'll see. Get out of here. You're pissing me off. And I'll leave and come back with a present for her. You're not going out with her, I am. We'll see who asks her out first. Mikey makes me so angry. I want to date a new girl and he wants to date her on purpose to piss me off. But I'm not gonna give up and I'm gonna get to know her better. Three hours later. When is that girl gonna finish her lessons? I'm tired of standing here waiting. It's been a very interesting day. Time to go home and do my homework. Oh, here comes my chick out of her nest. I wonder if they sell any cookies here. I'm so hungry for today. Hey girl, let's get to know each other. My name is JJ. I'm your classmate. Oh, hey there. I saw the teacher kick you out of class. You're such bullies. <laughs> I don't care about the teacher. Let's be friends. I'm a really cool Cool kid. I don't like that teacher either. You see how alike you and I are. That's so great. You know, JJ, I really like you. I like your butt. Oh, I mean, I like you. Ha ha ha. JJ, you're so funny. I'd like to be your girlfriend. Oh yeah, I agree. Hey baby, how are you doing? I brought you a bunch of flowers. All girls like flowers, right? Uh, yeah, flowers are cool. And you're the other bully? Oh yeah, I'm a real bully. These flowers are so beautiful. You bought them for me? Oh yeah, you deserve better than that, sweetheart. Hey, I actually started talking to her before you did. You need to leave. I'm not going anywhere without my girlfriend. I'm already Mikey's girlfriend. That's so cool. Hey, what about me? I'm sorry, JJ, but Mikey is way cooler than you, and you're a loser. What? Am I a loser? Mikey just bought some stinky flowers. Wait, that's not fair at all. Hey! Let's go to the park, and then we can kiss each other for the whole day. Wow, Mikey, you're so romantic. You're gonna be the best boyfriend ever. Best boyfriend ever? Oh my god! Friends, who's a better boyfriend, me or Mikey? Write about it in the comments. How sad it is. During this time, we usually play toys with Mikey or watch cartoons together. But now, he's with my girlfriend. Look at that! They're meeting again! I'm so embarrassed to watch this. <laughs> Come get me, sweetheart! Mikey, hee hee, you're the funniest guy in the world. What? I'm actually the funniest dude. She doesn't know anything about guys. I'm a better kisser. I'm better at jokes. I'm a better player. I'm way cooler than Mikey at everything. But apparently, I'm not as strong as Mikey. Maybe I should be as strong as that dude on TV. Women like a man with big arms, don't they? It's settled. I'm going to be that pumped up man. Friends, wouldn't you like to have a pumped up butt? Write about it in the comments. And I'm going to go work every bit of muscle in my body. Soon you won't recognize me. There must be a gym around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. That's what I need. This is where real men work out. I'm gonna be a pumped up dude and that girl will be mine. At least I can just beat up Mikey and take that woman by force. Oh, doggies on TV? That's what pumped up guys at the gym watch? That dude seems funny. Haha, <laughs> hey, pile of muscle. I want to be just like you. Help me do it. <laughs> You're so small and pathetic. Do you want to get pumped up? I'll help you do it because I'm the coach of this gym. Wow, that's really cool. How long have you been practicing here? About a couple days and I'll make you a jock like me. <laughs> okay, where do we start? Let's start with a run right here. Oh no. Four to six days later. To make me such a cool man in such a short time. That was pretty easy. Wow, you're the first person who hasn't broken my gym. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> now I'm strong enough to beat little boy Mikey, and I don't care if it's my brother. If I were a girl, I would definitely fall in love with my pumped up version. How's that? Friends, do you think I'm handsome? If you want to date me, write about it in the comments. I think I'm the cutest person in the world. God, I don't even want a girlfriend. I'd start dating a mirror because that's where I can see myself. Here come those lovebirds. Ha ha ha, time to teach Mikey a lesson. I've wanted to tell you for a long time that I love you, darling. Do you love me? Wow. Only my mom said those words to me. I love you too. Shut up, both of you. You make me sick. You two ugly idiots. Look at me. This is what a 
perfect man looks like. Um, JJ got bigger and dumber. JJ is always weird and silly. I guess all jocks are so stupid. Am I stupid? What did you just say? Let's go outside and talk like real men, one on one. Boys, don't fight, I'm scared. I'm gonna calm my brother down now, wait. What, will you calm me down? I wonder how you're going to do that. I'll take your girl away from you. JJ, it's too late to do anything. It's never too late, nah, that's it. <laughs> you're so light and weak. I thought you were at least a little strong. Oh my God, JJ, what's going on here? What happened with Mikey? I beat him up a little bit. That's our game and it's that girl's fault. And Mikey really hurt me a lot. I didn't like it. Oh my God, it's like our son has lost his mind. Yes, you're right. And it's a crazy girl too. Actually, we meant you're the crazy one, JJ. You should be punished for raising your hand against your brother. What? But it's not my fault. It's completely your fault. You're totally insane. I'm disappointed in you, son. Guys, I'm gonna live here now. This is my punishment and no more cartoons. And no toys along with the goodies, JJ. And you'll live like this for a year. Nobody loves a bully like you. You really hurt my feelings, JJ. You're unforgivable, stupid. Oh, now I'm really bad I did that. Mikey, I'm really, really sorry I beat you up. Sit here alone, man. I'm gonna go kiss that pretty girl. Seriously? Oh my God. I should have hit you harder, you green freak. Am I really gonna sit here for a year? That's not cool at all.